I've been getting a lot of requests, like literally hundreds of them in the form of questions, um, comments, it, you know, in my inbox, everything. How do I flash dock? How do I flash dock? Well, normally, when you mess your phone up, you want to flash dock with custom recovery because instead of flashing a stock ROM, getting your phone set up and then flashing stock recovery or custom recovery, that saves you, you know, two flashes in one flash. So normally that's the best way to do it if you go if you get in a boot loop or you mess your phone up or something. But in this situation, the charging port's messed up. So I to take it back to Sprint. You can't have anything custom at all if you're going to take it back to Sprint. So when you download this tar right here, it's a dot tar md5. They're like just rename the file. It's not as simple as just cl clicking on it and renaming it tar md5. You download it to tar md5. Everywhere you, I mean, it's tar md5. When you download it, it just says it's a tar. Right here is wh where I downloaded it. So you click on it to rename it. And it's still a tar, but it's actually a tar md5. But in my case, I open it with Notepad plus plus. I go to File, Save as. And then I go down here and I choose all types and I click save. And then I exit the program. Now when I go here, you'll notice it has a T because I have um, 7-zip. This one when I open it, it would open up the MD5 and try to check the files to make sure they're valid with TerraCopy. Now when I open it, it brings up 7-zip, but it says there's an error. Now, I'm going to produce an error so you all know how to, you know, fix it. I'm going to delete this. I'm going to keep one in there. Only keep one file in here, otherwise you'll mess your phone up. Now I'm going to open Software Upgrade. Follow all the normal steps. Right here. Put your phone in bootloader by holding down the volume down, the camera button, and the power button. Uh. Plug in the USB cable. And down there it should say COM3 connected, and next should be highlighted. All drivers are installed. Please unplug the cable. I've learned a trick, if you've done this before, more than once, you don't have to actually take your phone and go back into bootloader. You just click next, 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 COM3 connected, next, and see I never once unplugged it. Now when I click start software download, I get this error, cannot open bin file. Okay, I'm going to go to C, Program Files, Samsung, Electronics, Software Upgrade, Models, Binary. Then I'm going to go to this TAR that has a little check symbol thanks to, um, you know, TerraCopy. And even right here it says it's a checksum file. Now I'm going to edit it with Notepad++ like I did earlier. You need a potty. It opens up the file. I'm going to click File, Save As. And then I'm going to go... I'm going to go all the way up to all files, all types, and then I'm going to click save. And now it's a tar file that you need. So we'll delete the one that's the checksum file. And there's just one file in there. Now if I go back to software upgrade, and I click next, see, my phone's in bootloader. I'm not going to once take it out of bootloader. Let me see if I can get both of them in the same shot. Next. Next, 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 next. Wait for it to say COM3 connected. Next, 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 next. I think the reason it wants you to put it back in the bootloader is so that way you're, you're, if you've never installed this program, that way it installs the drivers 
and then you can you know put it back in bootloader and try again but I've already installed everything so I'm just keep pushing next now I'm gonna hit start software download see I'm not getting any errors so far and once it leaves this percent there you go Now my phone is completely stock. I'm going to go into recovery once it boots up, and then I'm going to show you that it's the stock recovery. There's no custom recovery about it. So I can go to go to the Sprint store tomorrow and change this out for another transform. And we just click close because we're done flashing the phone. This video is officially 10 minutes long now. Oh. And right at 10 minutes, it boots up. Now, I never have it, I never get any luck right here. I always have to pull the battery out. Volume down, the voice button, and the power button. There's stock recovery. I actually like haven't seen this screen because I always install custom recovery right away. So I'm going to reboot to system. Uh, I don't know how actually. Which button does it? Home? Back? Maybe it's one of these buttons. Not the power button. That's the voice button, okay. So the voice button right here selects the selection, I guess. <laughs> Install an ID. I'm going to show you all a workaround. We click install on the ID. We click accept. And now it's installing in the background. But a workaround is to pull the battery out, put it back in, and now turn the phone on. And it will not install all the stupid freaking apps. So, I figured that out, and I'm sure other people have too, but I just wanted to share my findings with you. So anyway, we have stock and it's not going to install the ID anymore. Totally stock. I showed you there's no custom recovery and it's a stock ROM. So now you can take your phone back to Sprint. Have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching. And please, please, please subscribe. It's a little click for you, but it goes a long way for me. Thank you very much.